how's it going? In this video I'll show you another way to sell pearls online. Trading pearls. In my previous video I covered how to start a pearl jewelry business but selling jewelry in general is a slow way to make money. I recommend that you watch my previous video where I share some important information that will help you and your trading journey. In this video I will explain how to trade pearls and share some other important information. Why pearls? Because pearls have been one of the most popular form of jewelry from way back to 400 BC to this day and we frequently see celebrities wearing them. So to get the most out of this video you must watch the full video. First. Let me explain the difference between trading pearls and selling pearls jewelry. When you trade pearls, you sell loose pearls, while jewelry is a finished product. Loose pearls is a supply and you are supplying for jeweler or just hobbyist. One benefit of supplying is that you get more repeat buyers and jewelry in the other hand is purchased to be worn or as a gift. People may buy jewelry once in a while and during certain time of the year. It's really seasonal. Now let's talk about the two best type of pearls to resell. Tahitian pearls and Edison pearls. Tahitian pearls due to their popularity and it is the only type of pearls that produce wide range of colors naturally and it allows you to create a lot of unique listings for your store. And it is also affordable nowadays which was not the case 20 years ago and Edison pearls which is appealing with its pinkish and brown color there's other type of pearls that I will not suggest to trade such as freshwater pearls because well uh, it is saturated and the profit margin is close to nothing also pearls like white Australian pearls and golden pearls which are too expensive and also hard to tell if they are dyed or not. Those type of pearls are usually white or yellow so it will not allow you to create more listing for your store. Alright guys, like I said in my previous video, the best place to buy pearls is Etsy or at a gem fair. Purchasing at a gem fair might be best if you have a large budget but not necessarily better. You are more in a rush because you are in the action and you can easily overpay if you don't have much experience. While purchasing on Etsy, you can just sit back, do some homework, analyze clearly if this listing is worth reselling. So the method we will use is simply purchasing a set of loose pearls in the form of a bracelet or necklace and just reselling them by single pieces. Alright guys, this is what I mean by selling them by pieces, just like this seller here, who is selling single pieces of Tahitian pearls for $49. So how do we achieve this? So, so on Etsy, you will look for Tahitian pearls. So usually we will look for loose pearls in a set, like just like those. They are sold either in a set of bracelet or a necklace. So we will usually target, of course, based on price and also by the color of it. Just like this one, who is sold at $367. But let's see if we can find better listing. This one is a better listing, but the price of this is like triple the price of the previous listing. So this is not a good buy. And also I will not recommend you guys to purchase pearls who is sold like this, like a lot of pearls. The reason is you will not know what you are receiving. It says that they are selling this item but you don't know which pearls you will receive. You don't know if you will receive a grey one, a green one. Or a black one so here we have a perfect listing it has a unicolor of green and the price is quite reasonable so these are the colors you want to aim when you are reselling pearls these vivid colors like greens or blues so let's take our calculator out and calculate how much a piece is sold it is a three 
178 dollars we divide by 18 pieces which costs 21 dollars and on the previous seller here he is reselling them for 49 dollars in my experience you can get a cheaper price when you purchase on the seller official website or just ask for a discount i also would like to share a tips that i have learned along the way which is listing your products on etsy so when you list a products on etsy you want to list a listing with at least five pearls why because in order to rank higher on etsy like to show your product on the first page etsy will need to collect data so it can understand better what your listing is about let me show you an example on my own store so this is one of my listing and you can see here i have more than one pieces which allows etsy to collect data such as views orders favorite and revenue and also reviews and the problem with single listing is once the listing is sold the data will just be gone all right guys now you know how to trade pearls and i hope it wasn't too confusing let me talk about a great way to increase your sales and this is optional it is to provide drilling services for the pearls you sell but you will need to purchase a drilling machine i recommend there's two Japanese drilling machines, Yotsuba or Alpha Mirage. Yotsuba is more expensive, but it is quieter than Alpha Mirage. There are many cheaper machines on AliExpress, but in my experience, the higher-end machine drill consistently straighter holes. Regarding drill bits, customers typically request drilling sizes ranging from 0.8 to 1.5 millimeter try to get more sizes if possible so your customer can have more choices there are two types of drill bits to be aware of carbide drill bits for solid pearls such as tahitian pearls australian golden and edison pearls and steel drill bits for freshwater pearls with softer surface if you use carbide drill bits on freshwater pearls you will 90 percent of the time damage the pearls and if you use steel bits on solid pearls like tahitian the drill bits will break because the steel can't handle high temperatures all right guys so when we purchase pearls there are additional factors that you may need to consider such as the pearls quality but the best way to evaluate a pearls is to think like a jeweler and act like a customer first of all you are selling on etsy and you are probably selling for small jewelers or just someone who like to make pearls jewelry for fun and you're also not the only one reselling pearls as well if you were a buyer would you purchase the pearl you are selling at that price to make your jewelry if the answer is no then reselling that pearl is not a good investment no matter the quality of that pearls and you would rather invest in something else or wait for a better opportunity your goal as a supplier is to get the best price for jewelers so they can make jewelry and hope they can be successful and purchase from you again this is one of the mistakes i've seen reseller makes they buy on emotion they only consider how much money they can make from those sales but they forget that pearls are primarily designed to be worn as a jewelry if you are reselling them at a too high price you have less chance of selling them even if you have the biggest or the most lustrous pearls because pearls does not only compete with other pearls they are also competing against other jewelry too such as diamond jewelry or moissanite jewelry which is quite popular nowadays if you see my shop i also started selling them so guys i hope you liked this video and i hope it was helpful leave a like subscribe i will cover more jewelry topic and i see you guys in the next video